Hi, this is Abdul Aziz Khan and I am with another video and this video is about uh, making some links not visible at some specific time or uh, I got this question uh, from a lot of uh, my students and my friends that for example if we have different type of uh, links then is it possible that we can hide some of the links and then we can show some of the links for example just for example i make this link and uh, this is a microwave link and for example this is another link now this link is not a microwave link for example if this link is a fiber link I can give it a name that this is a fiber. But uh, giving a name is good, I mean, I told everyone that, okay, this site is connecting here on microwave, and then this part is fiber. But for example, if I want to show it in a way that whenever I want, I can remove, or for example, there are two links. I make another link, uh, how to make two links. I mean, I hope some of you or most of you know this don't allow making two links, but there is another way. I mean, we can make two links. And uh, if anyone wants to know that, I can make another video on that. But uh, just assume that we have two links and uh, we want to hide one of the link. So, how it is possible or how we can do it so first of all uh, let me clarify one thing that uh, the one of you who have been using map info uh, quite a lot or maybe they are very well familiar with map info uh, path loss don't give you uh, something like mac in map info it's not of that level i mean you cannot make if if you know map info then you must know that how to make thematic maps and how to hide and hide things, how to make layers and this and that. So path loss is not that much powerful, I mean, but it is still uh, quite powerful. I mean, it's, it's not that, that it cannot do it. So how can we do it? This is a good question. So let's go, let's see if you go in this configure, and then you go in groups. So from the name you can understand, I mean, we can make groups. Once we make groups, then we can put some visibility things in the group as well. So we can make edit or add it or add groups and then we can put visibility of the group. So first we will go and we will add groups. Now it is saying there are no groups right now. We have not, not made any groups. Now, how can we make groups? We can make groups based on sites and based on links. So we can even make a group of sites as well. And those sites can be hidden, can be made visible or invisible. And once they are invisible, you cannot do anything because they are not visible at that time. But currently, initially, I want to show you how to make it with links. There are only two links here or three links, maybe. So, as we made our this link A72 to 109, and we make it, uh, we make a new group. Okay, let me just give you this is the this is for new group, this is to remove a group, this is to rename a group. Okay. We click new group and we call this group fiber. Okay. So now this link from A109 to A72, this we say this is a fiber. I will click. This will select this group. If I have more than one link which is fiber, I can. Uh, select at the same time more than one as well by 
putting control i mean like control click control click so then i say okay now i have basically only basically only one group that group is fiber and my all other links are in are not grouped to anything right now so i can link all those also to some groups also if you see here you will get an idea that you cannot put same link in two groups because you have for example i make another group i make it access okay so i can add this link in two groups as well okay that's nice so it means we can add a same link in more than one groups as well and uh, so this is a kind of good thing for example if you have some sites which are fiber and they are part of some specific region as well so you can add them in two groups so you can hide or unhide them based on that region and you can hide or unhide them based on fiber so now if i want to not to show it i mean you see here i have three groups one is the ungrouped one is access and one is fiber so i remove fiber uh, very good okay because this is part of two groups so i have to remove it okay this is one more thing i mean this is one more thing that if i have something which is part of two groups so if i remove the visibility of one type of groups still it will be visible because of because it is related to another group as well so if you have any kind of link which is part of two groups then you have to take care before making any such decision so for example i just want to see the fiber group you see i have only one if i want to see the access group uh, the second one is not near but uh, it is somewhere let us find it ah uh, there it is okay this is the other link it is here so and then i go in group i set visibility and here i have all the links so i hope this video i as i told you i try to keep my videos small and uh, it should be a bit lighter but uh, what we learn is that we can add different links or different sites in different groups we can create groups but once you are creating groups you should be a bit focused at how you want these groups to be interlinked for example if you want to keep something in two groups then you should understand that if you hide it from one group it should still remain visible in the other group so i hope this was a good short video and uh, you should have learned uh, something good from it and uh, do give me some kind of feedback if you have some other question and or if you want to have some idea about something else and uh, do spread my videos and uh, do uh, like it and subscribe to my channel because uh, uh, still i mean i i have a lot of uh, things on it but still i feel that the reach is is very low uh, the reach should have been much higher but i don't know why maybe the people who are taking some uh, good idea from it they are not spreading it so please spread it as well and see you in my next video goodbye